I love seeing city skylines and I'm going to show you how to capture the scenery on a mug. It's a nice gift for someone who has a dream city they yearn to travel to, or to reminisce on a city you once fell in love with in your adventures. For this project you will need a mug of course, definitely try to find one that's flat all around if you can, because I've tried this with a slanted mug and it was nearly impossible, an oil based paint marker specifically for ceramics, not a sharpie because it will last longer, false advertising I know, sorry, a silhouette of a city skyline printed out on paper, measuring tape or just a ruler if you don't have one, contact paper, a paper cutting tool like scissors or a blade, rubbing alcohol plus cotton pads and or cotton swabs, and a baking pan and an oven for baking. First things first, you've got to decide what skyline you want to do. A big city skyline should be pretty easy to find on Google. For example, London, Paris, Tokyo, San Francisco, Hong Kong, your choice. A good one will have the most iconic landmarks spaced out not too far and not too closely either. You might want to edit the photo a bit, or at least try to fit the image to the size of the mug. For example, my mug was about 2 and 3 eighths inches tall, and about 10 inches around. So I just created a file in Photoshop with that size, and then resized the image to fit that canvas. After you print it out, you can just cut it out and draw the skyline from the paper. I happen to have contact paper, so I just pasted it onto my print, and then cut out the shape with scissors. Contact paper is great because it sticks to the surface easily, but it's also easy to peel off and re-stick to other surfaces. Before drawing on a mug, you might want to clean the surface with some rubbing alcohol first, then paste the stencil onto the mug and start tracing. Hold on. This is where I feel like my project went wrong and I want you to learn from my mistake. I think I actually should have used the other half of the stencil, aka the black part with all the buildings. While the contact paper does stick to the mug and acts as a guide, the paint marker can also bleed through it. So I should have used the other half where it would bleed to where I want the color to be and not the sky where I want to keep the lines clean. <sighs> oh well. But fear not, mistakes can be fixed with some rubbing alcohol and some cotton swab action. If you have one of those cosmetic pointy q-tips, that's probably even more helpful. You can stop after just tracing the skyline, I actually think that looks pretty nice, but I filled in the whole thing. You should refer back to the original silhouette to preserve some details like bridges and specific things in the architecture so that it's not just one big unrecognizable blob. For a finishing touch, I think it's cute if you add the name of the city onto the handle of the mug. I, I just I just didn't because the handle of my mug is teeny tiny. According to the marker instructions, it says you should allow it to air cure for 8 hours, so I left it overnight. After that, I baked it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. It's always stressed that you should not preheat your oven. You gotta let the mug heat up slowly with the temperature so that it doesn't crack the ceramic. Even when it's done, don't take it out of the oven right away. Again, the temperature has to naturally cool down slowly as well. Finally, I'm going to see if it can stand up to a hand wash, and it does! I hope you enjoyed this video and my rendition of a Sharpie mug, and can learn from my mistakes to make one that's way better than mine. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you whenever!